Hey people, hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'll continue our theme about website builders and actually this video is going to be about recently new but popular website builder service which is called UKID. Actually, I adore this service, to be honest, and that's why I decided to create a uh, observing video for you because it's very simple uh, to work with this service. It's intuitive. That means that uh, you don't need to have any coding skills, design skills. So to be honest, uh, you may try. Actually, you need to try because it's very simple. Yep. And actually, let's get down to our work. And remember, I'm waiting for your feedback. I'm waiting for your comments. I'm waiting for your likes. I'm waiting for your shares you know YouTube it works in this way so if you want to see um, videos about how to create cool things such as landing pages logos uh, websites and other cool things uh, so please I'm waiting for your feedback and let's start to your work just directly right now key point of you kid actually uh, is of use I would say yep because whatever action you intend to complete be it widget integration block post yep um domain in connection and other and other things yep it will be easy and convenient because you can is logically divided into two areas a dashboard and of course a builder yep so uh actually it has four working areas and we will observe uh them such as site pages builder design and adaptive site view yep uh, so the builder comes with a preview option and preview option we can just see it right here Yep, so the first thing we need to do actually to find uh, the template that we would like to work with uh, and right here on the left side um, If you need to find uh, a template which will be appropriate for your uh, service which you provide or um, I don't know or the products it depends on of course you have specific areas such as full flowers and floristry fashion model so let it be like a fashion model we may check yep and if you are um, a model you can create actually a website for for this uh, thing or if it's a legal services yeah here we have many cool templates um, or um, 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 I would say education and training so each sphere if your sphere I would say specific you may find that one that you see it's uh, will be appropriate or even clothing and shoes yeah what well, we have cafes and restaurants so basically let's start from this preview from the first one and actually right here what we have this is the template first of all uh, this this is not a landing page so this is actually a website yep and uh, we have right here the adaptive design so actually when you're previewing your website you can switch between different devices in desktop tablet or for uh, a mobile phone for mobile devices so it gives you the realistic impression of what your site will look like across different devices Yep, so basically uh, here is the main structure yep, of uh, this website and uh, actually it's really, uh, it's really nice so you may start your journey just to play around how it works with this um, uh, template. Yep, so this is the desktop version that is for a tablet. Yep, and here it has it has actually two modes in so horizontal way and of course in vertical way. So basically, you may play around with all of these modes just to taste to check how it will look like. So I guess that we will start our journey. We will choose a design. The next we need to put a domain name, but I would say that um just wait a second. So actually you need to put a domain name, it, well, you may put it randomly, but to be honest I always do this step uh, after uh, the finishing the designing process. So uh, we will continue and actually we will work directly with the editor right now. So this is actually right here, the place where all the magic begins. Uh, so let's observe how many pages we have and how many sections we have. So we have menu right here, we have page home, about menu, services and contact. Yep, so um, 
right here we have okay just wait a second uh so basically we have many sections and remember that this website is a large website it has many pages so it will take you from one hour to two hours to create uh, to redesign this template because it has uh, many uh, pages uh, many blocks but it's I would say it isn't so difficult because if you have uh, many cool uh, images portfolio of your services of your product you will do very easy and I would say it, it will be for you as a good part of impression if you like of course to do this so here we have on the left side uh, these are main tools and here we have uh, four bottoms which are major bottoms yep uh, let's start from the first one which is side pages so actually this bottom or this is a mode uh, whatever yep it's responsible for uh, the pages I would say a layout from for the pages of course yeah we have page about so actually we can simple right here navigate between these pages yep and work with all these pages yep to work with the design process yep we may uh, rename these pages yep we may simple navigate uh, and change the position yep of uh, this pages but a little bit just wait a second here we have about contact should be right here and home just wait a second yep so actually you can simply navigate between these pages and that's how it works uh, how it works so actually you know can uh, put the last design bottom and you may add to the page that you would like actually so in this way it's responsible the first one uh side pages is responsible for the pages of course yep uh the builder uh the next bottom or the next mode is responsible for the widgets and for the blocks um playing around with all the blocks so actually you have these blocks you may uh, delete them add them it depends on of course so you have this opportunity just to check how it works yep or you can work with the widgets yep uh, so actually we have basic widgets uh, from the basic uh, widgets are text bottoms fixed menus uh, images gallery so actually the basic uh, things yeah you have the structure and of course the content so uh, the additional I would say widgets that you can add you can add of course the media yep you can add some contact forms some social icons and to be honest uh, all the widgets they are important but you need to think what widget of course should be in your website so actually how you can work with this widget if you would like to add the gallery so you simply drag uh, one element to the template yep and you right here may work with the uh, gallery yep so actually I'm clicking directly to this element and I delete it because I think that this uh three pictures is enough and right here you can add to your personal file portfolio from your desktop or you can add from the library from UKIT service but it's not for free uh, but you may try for example I from the library yep uh, right here we have stock photos you can um, select the category you like or just to write right here for example I don't know uh, Swiss And you, for example, may uh, just search. Uh, yeah, for example, let it be bakery. And what we have in bakery, so here we have just first section, second one, and here, no, I don't want this one, I don't want this one, I want uh, to take all sweets. <sighs> yep, so basically we have right here yeah we may change the position replace them and actually that's how you may work with the gallery so actually you simply drag um, the element that you think is important to be in that section or block you simply add it and you see the results uh, simultaneously yep so actually that's how it works for fixed menu or bottoms or some sliders yep uh, the next one design uh, 
the design process, yeah, for this bottom is responsible for the, I would say, whole page, yeah, website. Um, and right here, you have the opportunity to uh, choose the color scheme, color palette. For example, this one uh, and work just we can see it. Uh, okay, right here we see it because uh, here we have um, different colors of the bottom. Yep. Uh, so actually, that how it works. You may ch we may change the side background. Yep. Uh, the color, or even we can add to the image. Yep. And the last one, we will play around with the fonts. You can see and all these changes. You can see in whole website, and it's uh, really, I would say comfortable because you don't need to change each detail in each block in each in each page yep so uh, the changes they are in the whole website page or even a language yep and you have uh, we hear the adaptive side version so actually you may play around with the desktop version with the tablet one and uh, so i mean um that is very important to be honest because in here nowadays uh actually we don't hold a laptop 24 hours per hour we are holding what tablet or in mobile devices so it's important so don't hesitate play around with all this stuff with all these blocks and actually that how it works uh, the other thing what i would love to uh tell you is actually the structure of uh, a page or even I mean website page yep uh, first of all there should be a logo here we have a logo of course it depends on it depends if you have this logo if you don't have this logo if you have it if you want to have it so um, you just need to upload this logo from your desktop and here you have the icons or you may find the other icons in right here in this service you can um, or in case if you have your personal logo you may add it the next one of course should be the menu don't forget it um, and of course the face block I would say why uh, is it face block because you know this is the face <laughs> of your website or a landing page yep so it should have um cool tasty colorful high quality background and here we have it uh, uh of course it should have a heater a sub heater or a slogan and for example it should be i would say a bottom cda we call it bottom and let's just locate it directly right here and here we have a bottom yep um there should be social icons just right here because for me it's very interesting uh, just to look to observe uh, the life of the company of uh, which actually represents uh, the product or service uh, in the website page yep so for me it's very interesting to be honest and i guess nowadays social accounts they are playing a big role to be honest in the life of companies so uh, of course don't hesitate the next should be a gallery or not or you can replace a gallery between the other blo blocks i would say the next one should be a section of course about us or about the company yep uh menu so of course the other structures the other blocks Either they uh, depend on actually this service uh, and um, and the product. Yep. If you are a nail nail artist or even a designer, lawyer, or you have a gym or yoga studio, it depends on. To be honest, if we are talking about food and restaurants, I would say this is. Um, a, brilliant model an example of uh, the structure uh, of this actually cool website page because here you have everything the only thing that i added actually this is the gallery but uh actually uh, to be honest talking about um the template uh so this template is brilliant because it has a cool structure um, to be honest as seen on right here uh, the other logos uh, which are related with this company yep i would uh change the position uh just intro link top locate so actual formatting actions uh, 
Okay, so I would love to change the position of this block to the other block. Yep. But of course, it depends on the taste. Yep, here we have the additional extra information, contact form, yep, uh, a map, uh, and actually a footer. So this is a brilliant model of uh, a restaurant, actually. So this is the end of this uh, observing video episode about UKIT service and how you can create a cool website page with the help of this service. Don't hesitate, try, to be honest. I think, actually, that you like this service. So we're waiting for your comments, we're waiting for your likes, and see you in another video episode. I wish you good luck and bye!